all right so in this video we'll make a uh, notification real time so what we'll use to make it real time is this uh, laravel web sockets all right so this one you can go to official documentation for setup process so first thing we need to include uh, this package in our project like so composer require so once that is done uh, next what we need to do is we need to set up broadcasting so inside notification broadcasting so let's go to event broadcasting documentation so after you pull in uh, this comp uh, using composer require you just need to uh, follow this documentation and set up so first thing first we need to go to config app where we need to uncomment this broadcast service provider so that broadcasting feature is enabled next uh, yeah so this is already in our case csrf token otherwise you have to verify whether there is csrf token in your so this comes by default csrf token in here and next thing we need to install this package so we uh, we will be not using pusher but we need this package because uh, that laravel was websocket package is built on top of this package so we need to require this so composer require pusher so once that is finished in my case i've already installed that so and next thing is so once uh, that is pulled in uh, what uh, you have to do is uh, you have to tell we will use that uh, so that service so in broadcast driver we need to make pusher so uh, we, we will be not using pusher but uh, we'll be utilizing that package that's why we need to make that all right so i think that's it for uh, broadcasting setup let's go to laravel web websocket uh, documentation so in, in installation uh, we have uh, already run this and then after that if you want uh, sorry we need one migration file to save all statistics about okay so migration done then you can do psv artisan migrate to create that table all right and if you need configuration file you have to publish that as well let's publish okay so that will create config web sockets and here inside this uh, we got this default configuration and all other stuff if you need to change it you can change it there so we already required this we make it pusher driver uh, broadcast driver to pusher and so another thing we need to change inside config broadcasting is uh, these three host host port and that so let's go to config broadcasting and here we need to change copy and paste it here like so so we are telling that uh, uh, this uh, request will not go to pusher ser uh, ser uh, server instead it will go to our own laravel web socket server uh, on this port and this host La so if you want to use laravel echo which will be uh, using in front end so so laravel echo code will be in our bootstrap.js inside resources js all right so this code is commented and to uncomment this uh, you will need first laravel echo and pusher js so if um, you are running it first time you will not get that what you have to do is go to laravel echo section so laravel echo section and we need to install these two yeah so i think we already run npm install so make sure uh, you run N npm install first so that you got all packages so in our case uh, we have already run in previous video so here we will only install these two laravel echo and pusher.js all right so let's install that so once that is installed we need to go to that bootstrap.js that we we just got there 
and once uh, those two are uh, installed uh, we need to uncomment these okay so if you are using PSP storm you can verify if that is installed by going control click and here uh, you need to put in some extra keys from here all right so with that is step complete uh, we have set up laravel web, web sockets now only thing uh, we need to do is we need to just run the server our web socket server all right so instead of pusher this server will handle all the uh, all the real time stuff so let's keep it running on some terminal so it is running here i'll open up new terminal to do other tasks one more thing uh, in your env file since we are using pusher keys uh, and all other thing so you don't need pusher account but you can put anything random here like i put any id some key some secret like so you can put in uh, anything you want here so once that is done and this is keep running let's check if uh, we are receiving a notification or uh, this websocket package is working or not so to check that uh, what we'll do is so we'll uh, use this presence channel in our admin dot view so admin dot view on created so just to test let's uh, check this out and we are uh, listening uh, for this channel and let's go and refresh open up console all right so after setup if you get uh, something like this error so in my case that was because in bootstrap.js so we don't need this encrypts encrypted equals to true so remove that also remove this and now if we refresh yeah so now we can get the real time so present user which we are doing here so we are joining the chat and then present we are displaying the present user so which is present here so if any other user logs in that will be also displayed on so um, that will show that uh, our this web socket is working now uh, now let's make our notification real time so in order to do that uh, we need to go to our notification class user registered so here uh, currently we are just saving in database what we need to do is we need to do broad broadcast all right so we also want to broadcast so we need any uh, another method uh, with another broadcast method so that you can find on the notifications so broadcast notification and here you need this method broadcast notifications okay so let's put it here broadcast notifiable we need this new broadcast message and um, broadcast message will be also like this so once that is done uh, whenever this notification is triggered it will also broadcast so uh, let's see in which channel it will broadcast uh, i think it will broadcast uh, so listening for notification it will broadcast on the uh, this uh, app dot user and user id all right so we can just copy that and let me put it to another one okay so let's go to our admin dot view and whenever something uh, this thing is created echo echo dot private app so, and then user id so this dot user dot id so this user is we are accepting as props so we are listening for app user and then notification type let's dump whole notification 
so new notification ah. so we don't need that okay so so it is loading and now let's register uh, another person in new tab So let's register another user, Suresh2. Let's register. Yeah, we got this new newly created user and all data regarding that. So Suresh2, Suresh, like that, okay? So now if we refresh, we get that, all notification, but uh, what we'll do is uh, we will do that on real time where we are uh, listening for that. So. Here you co echo private and we are getting all notification. So what we'll do is uh, we'll assign this dot all notifications equals to notification. Uh, we will just need to push it there. Push. Notification like so so here user register we are uh, send broadcasting created user and that but instead we need to broadcast uh, the notification itself uh, let's uh, let's make uh, those same so we want to broadcast uh, different thing we want to bro uh, broadcast whole notification object okay so notification so that will be notification uh, notifiable so notifiable notifications we want to get the uh, last notification so last will be the recently created or what we can do is uh, we can do latest and then first so notifiable notifications latest and then first one return first one all right so that should work admin dot notification dot notification so that will be the whole notification object that will be pushing so yeah that should work so let's open it side by side So test surveys, okay. So let's change it something. Password will be secret. So let's register. So we got one notification. This surveys has just registered. So we are getting that notification. So now it is working on real time so uh, there are many refinements that uh, you can do here but uh, for now this is the basic idea of notifications so we'll do the refinement uh, next so see you in the next video bye